welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I would like to talk about the crazy man's handcuffs. Uh, in my opinion, this is, this is the single best close-up magic trick in the world. Uh, the single best trick, I, and I know uh, Blaze and I were talking, we were exchanging some emails. We were talking about what do you do when somebody says, do me some magic? What do you do? Uh, there are a number of things. And by the way, I'd like to do a video on that subject alone. I probably will do that to present to you a number of options. Uh, but this is one of the options. <clears throat> All, you All you need to do is carry some rubber bands with you. And you're set to go. I mean, anybody can carry rubber bands in their pocket. And you're ready to do one of the greatest tricks of all time. All right, so folks, this, uh, this is a manuscript that was published by Michael Amar, one of my heroes. In addition to the individual manuscript that was published, uh, he also published it in his book, The Magic of Michael Lamar. If you do not own this book, do not pass it by. His cups and balls routine is in here as well. But you can get... You can get the manuscript individually, or you can purchase the book, The Magic of Michael Omar. Uh, it's in both. But I'd like to share with you something that, uh, a little, just a paragraph, just a paragraph. Uh, Michael Omar, Michael Omar believes that this is one of the greatest effects of all time. He says here, uh, before going into my presentation and handling, I want to make certain that historical credit remains accurate. Author Sutterington from England apparently invented the effect itself. Herb Zaro of that Zaro Shuffle fame uh, realized its potential and cleaned up the handling enough to fool those who might have seen this little known effect before. Uh, he showed it to Lou Tannen, who then published it in the Tarbell 7. Now, that's where I keep my Tarbells over there. It's in Tarbell 7. I remember seeing it in Tarbell 7 before I got this manuscript. You can't learn it from Tarbell 7. I'm sorry, just about everything that you want to know is in Tarbell. But uh, if you read the descriptions in Tarbell, you still won't be able to do it. So I do not recommend that you grab your Tarbell 7 and try to learn it from that. Get the Michael Lamar material if you want to learn it. So it's published in Tarbell 7. Harry Lorraine, uh, who wrote Tarbell 7, Harry Lorraine, one of Magic's greatest authors, wrote Tarbell 7. But since Herb didn't walk through the handling with Harry himself, it was inaccurately written up, and that's why you really can't learn it from Tarbell. In the meantime, Dennis Marks, one of New York's inner circle uh, magicians, moved to Los Angeles. Dennis was, Dennis was able to perform this beautifully, so before long it became a pet secret of the L.A. Magic Underground. Finally, Dennis showed it to Bob Jardine, who became resident magician at the Magic Castle for a time. Uh, few ever performed this as well as Bob, so it soon became his trademark. Uh, it is fairly safe to say that anyone else in the country who does this effect, and that includes myself, Michael Lamar, and David Copperfield, more about him in a minute, does it because they saw one of these three people doing it. Now, uh, some ble people believe that it was uh, Daryl, I think, who named it the crazy man's handcuffs. Uh, David Copperfield performed it on two specials, and I'm going to put the links down below so you can take a look. Uh, he performed it in his China special. I think it kind of went unnoticed. And then he performed it on stage in one of his other later specials. And uh, to see him do this thing on stage, I mean, this is a close-up effect. This is what you do when you have somebody come up to you and say, hey, I want to see a magic trick. This is what you do. Um, but David Copperfield did the, uh, the Kozlowski bill switch. I think it was, maybe he did it in a different method, but he did a bill switch. And then he did, he did this. And he had, the, he had the camera, so he had it being, uh, being projected on a, on a widescreen so the audience could see it. But it was just fantastic. I'm going to give you a couple of looks at it. I'm going to do it here, and then I'll do it more close up so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it's called The Crazy Man's Handcuffs. Uh, I just love it. I think it's, um, to me, it's sort of the close-up version of the linking rings. One rubber band goes down behind the other rubber band like this. I can pull it this way, pull it this way, this way. It doesn't come out. 
But when I just rub those rubber bands together like this, melts apart. Now you see what I mean by close up. You probably couldn't see it very well. I'm going to come over to the camera and show you close up. Okay, so I'm standing behind the camera and I'm going to try to do this so that you can see every bit of it. See the way this is all right now? Rubber band's going down this way. If I push it this way, this way can't get out. I can pull it this way, can't get out. Now watch, watch. And there it is, folks. The crazy man's handcuffs. So that, folks, is the crazy man's handcuffs. It's one of my favorite effects. I carry rubber bands with me all the time. Somebody says, hey, do me a trick. That's what I do for them most of the time. Uh, there are mentalist things that you can do. I'll talk about those when I do uh, do a video on what to do when somebody asks you to perform. So uh, anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. Please comment down below. I love your comments. Have a great day. See you next time.